Does everybody in your family have a legal photo ID? Here's mine. Not the best picture. I know I look like I was road hard and put away wet, but it's got everything on here that I need. If I'm gonna do something official, I need to take care of some official business, like go to the dentist, um, rent an apartment, do a mortgage. However, I've got a story for you that will make you question that. I know that I've talked a lot about my 95 year old client who I recently did a mortgage for. Um, mostly because of his age, I thought that was a pr pretty interesting story. But what I didn't tell you was that we ran into a glitch while we were in the process of closing. This was closing at his home and in order to make the transaction legal, there was a mobile notary there to officiate and watch as all of the documents were signed. But the very first thing that a mobile notary looks for is they ask you for your photo ID. He got out his wallet, he presented his, his photo, uh, Illinois photo ID, it is not a driver's license. And she looked at it and she said, I'm sorry, we can't use this idea, ID unless you have something else. We're not gonna be able to close this loan. So I was there, there was, a, there was another person from my company there. My client was there, his daughter was there. We all drove in about 30 minutes and the mobile notary stopped the closing short. So of course, like I never had this happen before. So I said, why? She showed us his Illinois photo ID and I have never seen this before in all of the 25 years that I've been doing this. And I've looked at a lot of IDs, passports, driver's licenses, etc. He didn't have a signature on his ID. The signature line was completely blank and in teeny tiny letters, it said borrower unable to sign. So of course we asked him, you know, what happened? Well, he explained that when he went to the DMV to get his Illinois state photo ID, they did not make him sign because he has a condition where it is very painful for him to hold a pen and sign. All right, I never even knew that was a thing. So if you don't know that that's a thing and that's happening in your DMV, that would be something to check on because if that happens, you need some other form of photo ID in order to make your transaction happen. So at that very moment, we stopped the closing because he had nothing else. And what did we have to do? We had to have his daughter made power of attorney, which took a whole nother week of documentation and checking and underwriting. And guess what? We actually closed the loan yesterday. So that's all finished. But how easy it would have been if somebody would have noticed that in the beginning before the closing. So what I would like to remind everybody of is take a look at your photo ID, make sure that it's signed, but also take a look at the photo IDs of the other people in your family. If you have children that drive or children that need a photo ID for some type of identification, make sure that it's signed. And if, it's, if they're under age, make sure that you sign it. Um, also check on your grandparents and your great grandparents because they may be running into a situation where they did not have to sign their ID and therefore it wouldn't be legal for them to use it in a legal transaction. And there's lots of other things that you need to use a photo ID for besides getting a mortgage. So think about this. To rent a property, obtaining a bank account, food stamps, applying for welfare, getting a job. If you apply for unemployment, if you lose that job, purchasing alcohol, cigarettes, a car, getting on an airplane for sure, getting married, um, if you're going to rescue a pet, you need to identify yourself. Purchasing a gun, renting a hotel room, um, applying for a hunting or fishing license. Maybe you can, if you, if you know of any other things that I missed, um, put it, put it down in the comments. I would love to know because I'm compiling a bigger list than this. Make sure that you have a photo ID because you need it for everything practically that you're going to do in life to get through life, except maybe to vote.